Hello, so I am back with another video. This is number 16, and today I'm going to be talking about fibromyalgia. Okay, um, I was diagnosed in 2008. <coughs> I'm sorry about that. Okay, so, but I had the problem long before, like many years before. It's just I didn't know what was going on. And, um, it would hurt to the touch, you know, like my husband, you know, he would hug me or, or, um, you know, he was always hugging me, but just saying, you know what I'm saying? But, um, I would be like, ouch, no, stop, right? Don't do that, right? You know what I'm saying? Okay, so, anyway, besides that, um, my uncle, we like, He's a year older than me, but um, we grew up as sister and brother. But he would be, be, you know, talking to me because he talks, you know, with his hands, you know, talking with his hands. And he'd be like, hey, you know, bam, I'm like, oh, oh, my God, oh, my God. You know, we're hurt so bad. I'm like, don't do that. I'm like, he was like, oh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I keep forgetting that you, you know, I keep forgetting. Okay, yeah. But that just happened over the course of years before I found out I was, you know, was diagnosed in 2008 that it was fibromyalgia. Okay, so anyway, besides that, now that, but even at that time when I found out, I didn't really look into it much. I mean, it was like, okay, I knew about it, but I really didn't know about it. You know what I'm saying? So, y'all got to excuse my my hair. I'm wearing my, I call these my hats. This is my wig, y'all. Mm-hmm. Because in the wintertime, look, I didn't jumped off the subject. We ain't even know no hair videos. Let's get back. Boop. Okay. So, anyway. Okay. That's another video. Okay. All right. I'll tell you about that. Anyway. I might do that next time. Maybe. Okay. Anyway, let's get back on, because I be jumping off all the time and start rambling about something else. Okay, anyway. See? Now, I forgot what I was saying. Hold on. Do, 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 do. <laughs> okay. Okay. Anyway, like I was saying, um, but now that I'm, since I've been in more pain, um, I'm like, it's, uh, now that I'm experiencing, experiencing pain all through my body, I mean, it, it can, it can, it, um, uh, my sleep will, has been off for many years anyway, but it said it can affect your sleep. Uh, you can have like sleep disorders from it and you can be, um, I seen it says you can have constipation from it. Um, it's just a lot of stuff, you know what I'm saying? But as far as myself, like, um, I can't even, oh, I just got a brain freeze. But let me say this, though. You know what? Okay, so I didn't know that fibromyalgia could, like, flare up. Oh, excuse me. I'm just burping and stuff like I didn't had a full course meal or something. I didn't, I swear. Okay, anyway. Excuse me. Okay. Okay, yeah. The Let's talk about the flare-ups. Okay, so I was uh, helping my daughter, you know, and um, I was doing a little bit too much of what I was doing and helping. And I didn't mind. I didn't mind. I didn't mind, boo. I really didn't, okay? All right, all right, okay. Because I know she's going to be watching this. Okay, so. I didn't mind, you know. Because I was helping with the grandbabies. Yes. And I'm not that old either. Okay. Okay, so anyway. So I was doing a little bit too much, you know. Eventually, you know, I knew I was going to pay for it. Because it seemed like, you know. I get flare-ups, but I didn't know that was a flare-up, even 
be you know 2008 and be whatever I didn't know that was what it was called because I'd be like dang I'm so tired I can't, I can't I'm so exhausted I, I can't move what's wrong I can't, I don't want to get out of bed I don't want to do anything and then um so now I realize doing research getting really into it I've learned that you can have flare-ups you know stuff can trigger and you know you can have flare-ups and everything so that's what I had so I haven't made a video in three weeks not saying I had a flare flare up for three weeks but I have been just really tired a lot really tired a lot I haven't want to do anything but um, just like with some of the symptoms like you have symptoms for one thing and then um, then you might have some of the symptoms for another type of disorder or disease or whatever. And so when I was talking about my movement disorder, I talked about that in other video. You just look back. We are say movement disorder or something. Okay. So they still trying to figure that out. Anyway, so um, some of the, the symptoms also with fibromyalgia, and I'm like, okay, so I'm kind of lost on which is a two, but I was diagnosed first with fibromyalgia first. So, because um, I be twitching and stuff, you know, twitching and doing things and kind of shaking and everything. So I be like, all right, so, okay. But anyway, but I didn't want to do nothing. I really didn't. And then also changes, well, my, my appetite of not wanting nothing. I be wanting something so bad then. I get it and I don't want to eat it. Mm -hmm. That's how that's how I be sometimes. But on the other hand, um, it's a whole different situation once I'm good. You know, you know what I'm saying. So I'll be ready to eat. I'll be hungry. Sure. Anyway, but um, I gotta go see. I forgot the name of what these doctors do, but they check you to see if you have rheumatoid arthritis. Now, I, I go to this doctor tomorrow, which is Monday, um, the 7th. Okay, so with the fibromyalgia and the rheumatoid arthritis, I don't know if that's what I have, but... Um, like I said, I'm going to let the doctor tell me, you know, what he, because with the fibromyalgia, that's been going on for years. So my, my body hurts anyway. But then here go the rheumatoid arthritis, if that's what it is. Because I know you can have stuff on, you know, stuff going with you on top of this, that, that, right? I know this. But I don't know. Because I was diagnosed in 2008 with fibromyalgia. And then here go, I got to take this other test. Well, whatever he's going to do with me to, to, you know, tomorrow. But, um, my, my body hurts all over. You know, my feet and my hands, my elbows, my shoulders. <sighs> It, it it's just I'm in pain like all the time but for us with the flare-ups you know it's just a little bit more it ain't so good you know I don't want to do anything I don't want to go anywhere I don't want to do nothing and I've I've had a flare-up where I had to leave the house and um, this just wasn't a good thing you know not that I was telling my fam hey this is what's happening this is going on they know I'm in pain a lot, so they might hear like a ouch, ouch, you know, I'm saying stuff like that, but you know, what it is is what it is. And that on that note, um, I can't wait to see what's gonna happen tomorrow though, because I have an appointment. But then I found out that from my primary doctor, he told me that my body is your body is fighting with itself, so autoimmune.
disorder or disease or whatever, the, you know, yes. Mm -hmm. So is all that working together? Is that what that is? Am I just being slammed on? Is that... Uh, I'm trying to figure all this out, and I don't know. I just know that I'm in a lot of pain. I know that my hands and my feet and my legs, on top of having, on top of me having osteoarthritis, my knees and my hips. But see, some of the symptoms of everything that I say is kind of all working together. So I have, you know, I'm just kind of confused about what's going on. You know, what the diagnosis of all of this is about. Yes, okay. So, yeah. Anyway, I'm just, I'm, I can't wait. I'm so excited. I'm waiting for this appointment. But, um... So I'll be back with that video to talk, tell you, update on what happened at the doctor's office that I'm, where I'm going to be checked and see if I have the rheumatoid arthritis going on uh, through my body and stuff. I don't know. Because a neurologist checked me for copper tunnel and that wasn't it. So, And he sent me to this doctor that's going to be checking me for the other thing. So I'm going to see what's going on and find out really what's, what's happening. Because I could be misdiagnosed, uh, not diagnosed properly and stuff. Okay, so I'm going to get off this video. My hands are really hurting, like really bad right now. It really is. Like, yeah. I even try to run like hot water on them. Not like extremely hot, but you know what I'm saying. Yeah, I try to do that just to give it some type of relief. Because I don't take it. No type of pain medicine at all. None. The doctor I have, my primary doctor, he said, he gave me some uh he gave me, he, he don't do narcotics, which I'm good about not not taking those. I'm really I'm really good about that because I don't like to feel weird. So I'm good about not taking none. But he gave me some trim I can't even think of what it is. But anyway, they was like Tylenol. They was not a narcotic but they was like like if I was taking Tylenol. He said, Well I can't give you nothing else. I'll send you to the pain doctor. I'll take I you can go there. He might give you an injection. He might do you this and that. I'm like, I'm good. I'm good on that. So I just, it just do what it do. So I just, I'm just waiting to see what the doctor gonna do tomorrow. And my neurologist that I've just seen last week. My, my yeah, my new neurologist seen her last week, and I don't see her until three months. Yeah. Okay. Anyway, I didn't went from fibromyalgia to rheumatoid arthritis to autoimmune. So I still kind of jumped off and went because I'm confused about some of the symptoms are the same, you know. But I just know that all of this right here is going through a lot. All of it. Okay. Anyway, I'm about to get over here and, um,. I'm going to talk to y'all later, and I will try my hardest to, uh, not to wait so long for a video, but sometimes I just don't be feeling like it sometimes. The way I feel makes me be like, mm -mm, no, no, mm -mm, mm -mm. Okay, so I'm going to go, and uh, y'all have a blessed day. Deuces.